Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the seventh session of the second convocation of National Assembly of Western Armenia was held. Discussion of the pre-election campaign. Mkhitaryan's with the mission of preserving Armenian culture. The Sian Necropolis of ancient Taimusa. Bishop Bagrat visited Artsakh. How was the Armenian city transferred to Turkey? Greece wants Turkey to hit the Bosphorus. Nobel Prize laureate Artem Patapupian is in Yerevan. The next topic of the agenda of the seventh session of the second convocation of the National Assembly was the organization of the election campaign, around which a discussion took place between the chairman of National Assembly, Nelihar Utunian, president of Western Armenia, Armena Gabramian, and the participating deputies. Nelihar Utunian stated that the last session of this year will be held in December 2022, after which a year of election campaigning will be announced until December 2023, during which there will be an opportunity to join the ranks of deputies. A corresponding the commission will be formed, which will count the number of candidates participating in the election in December 2023. In this context, the NA president asked the following question to the audience. Read the speech in full on our official website. The founder of the Congregation of Mahitarian Fathers, which today has about 20 monks, is Mahitar Sebastati. Currently, 21 monks are the keepers and students of several tens of thousands of works. These are real treasures that follow the gospel and the history of Christianity in the Middle East and in Europe. More than 200,000 books and more than 500 manuscripts are carefully stored in a library of expensive architectural styles. In Yerevan, you can see the center of Mahitarians located in the northern east of the city, next to the Botanical Garden. We need to devote more time to these monks, who are themselves open history textbooks. Do their small number endanger the future of this community? For Elias' father, yes, it's true, we are getting smaller, but there is no reason to hope that we will disappear overnight. We are surrounded by a lot of friends. Having left the Mokhitarya Monastery complex in Yerevan and contacted the announced job, the task seems difficult. The impossible is not part of their vocabulary. The keepers of Armenian memory and sacred texts continue their service. They will climb new mountains, although with each generation, there will be fewer of them. A new generation is being prepared. They study monastic life and a profession of the publisher. This is not an ordinary phenomenon. Read the full article on our official website. The ancient Lysian necropolis is all that is left from the ancient Teimusa, located on the eastern end of the harbor of today's village Uchagis. Teimusa, like other ancient settlements in the Antalya region, used to be part of Lysian monarchy. According to Herodotus, Lysians originated from Crete and were the followers of King Sarpedon, son of Zeus and Laodomia. They were expelled from Minos and settled in modern-day Antalya. Lysians had their own language and a unique alphabet. Not much is known about the history of Teimusa, the Mediterranean civilization collapsed around 1200 BC and there was nothing but a legend to fill the gaps of Lycian history until Herodotus, who mentioned Lycians extensively. Read the full article on our official website. Built in the 7th century in the monastery of Hakopavang, which is the residence of the Catholicos, is in a ruined state today. Like many of our monasteries, photos from Bishop Bagrat's visit to Artsakh were spread on a Facebook page on Tavush Diocese. As noted by the leaders of Tavush and Artsakh Diocese, Bishop Bagrat and Vertanes, the condition of our churches is a direct reflection of our life. The restoration of Hakopavang and creation of surrounding infrastructures can become a symbol and a source of new life in Artsakh, Bishop Vertanes said. Let's look at our Artsakh and Nahijevan. There is nothing left. Everything is destroyed. Today our nation must conclude a contract with itself that we have nothing more to give to the enemy. If each person makes such a clear decision himself, it will become a national alliance. Our heart is with victory and let it begin again. Stand before us with the restoration of Agopavang, Bishop Bagrat said. In 1877 and 1880, as a result of Russian-Turkish war, the city of Artvin in Western Armenia was annexed to the Russian Empire and become of the newly created Batumi region. Before the genocide of Armenians, the city was mostly inhabited by Armenians. In addition, 11 Armenian churches were built there. In 1914, at the beginning of the First World War, Turkey seized most of the regions of Batumi and Kars, after which, under the pretext of war, it was organized the massacre of Armenians in Artvin, Ardahan, Ardanush and other occupied territories. 
Series. Ardwin was captured by Turkish troops on March 3, 1918, after the signing of Brest Litovsk Treaty between the Bolshevik Central Powers. The city remained under the Turkish control for a short time until the Democratic Republic of Georgia took control of it late March 1918. After the Sovietization of Georgia and the subsequent occupation of some of its territories by Turkish troops under the command of Musa Kazim Karabekir, Ardwin was again handed over to Turkey. The Moscow and Kars Treaty signed in 1921 between Bolshevik Russia and Turkey for the secure the transfer of this territory to Turkey. We want to remind you that on March 16, 1921, in Moscow, Russia and Turkey signed a treaty of friendship and brotherhood, according to which the current Armenian-Turkish border was drawn against the will of Armenia. The rifle fighters of the Greek Air Force recently acquired from France are ready to strike Bosphorus with scalp cruise missiles if the excavation of the confrontation between Athens and Ankara reaches to the last point. According to retired Greek Vice Admiral Konstantinos, Greece is considering the possibility of destroying bridges across Bosphorus, which will also lead to the complete closure of the Strait of the Passage of Ships, expert dotation to the fact that despite the presence of Turkish S-400 air defense system, the risk of the successful strike by SCALP cruise missiles remains very high. Nobel Prize winner scientist Artem Pataputian is in Yerevan. He will take part in the Days of Science and Business in Yerevan. The event, which will take place on June 13, 17, will be attended by such specialists from the Diaspora as President of Synopsis Armenia, Yerevan Zorian, Director of the Tumor Center for Creative Technologies, Marilo Papazian, Professor of New York University, Georgi Doluhian, Professor Armen Herlopian, and others. The purpose of the event is to show the connection between the science and business, how to effectively use scientific achievements in business and make science attractive among young people. People. Artem Pataputian is a nuclear biologist, was born in Lebanon, studied at the American University of Beirut, and moved to the USA in 1986. Now, musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.